Good morning, everyone, from the Spencer Homestead. It's Monday, and uh, we are having some really nice weather. Um, my name is Robin, and I started this little hobby farm about a year ago, around this time, um, to keep me busy when I retired. I worked for New York State for 30 years, and... Um, I wanted something to keep me busy, and boy, does this ever keep me busy. Uh, when I first started, I just got a few chicks. I think we got six, because that's our, uh, the law here in New York State is six at a time. And then I hadn't gotten all the stuff that I needed, you know, like a heat lamp and all that stuff. So went back down to get that and got six more, and that's how it all started. Um, now I have about 40. I had 50 um, to start with this spring, but I gave a lot of roosters away. And also, um, we had a few pass away. And that leads me to the situation that we're dealing with right now. Cocoditis, if I'm saying that right. Good morning, Babka. And uh, we've been treating this entire coop for it. What are you doing in the water bowl, Lemon? What are you doing in there? He's got the hugest paddle feet for a silky. And um, anyways, we've been treating this coop because um, I've been slowly introducing chicks to these guys. And I call this my fancy coop because it's got silkies and frizzle and polish in it. Now I've had I've added um, five Polskis and a Silky and we were going to do round two um, to add to this and we had an outbreak of the Cocoditis. So sadly last night Amanda, Amanda Panda the Polish that had the white crest um, passed away. It's very concerned. She wasn't moving very well. She was just drinking. I didn't see her eat anything. So um, she passed away during the night. And um, we are on day five of treatment. And I am on full poop patrol because... I want to make sure that we are getting rid of this. I haven't seen any more blood down here. Um, I'm not seeing any more birds that look sick. Thank God. It's terrible to lose them. Um, and, you know, these fancy ones, I tend to get more attached to because of the obvious. They're so adorable and uh, they're more pets. I don't count on them to lay eggs. <laughs> Uh, to sell so it's been really rough it's been a rough time I'm hoping that the four that I have left um, I have a Polish and um, a Polski and two frizzles in there and I'm hoping that there's no more sickness and in another week or two um, I can release these guys in with the bigger girls so that is that for this coop. Um, other than that, everything's been going pretty well. Um, we've had some nice weather and we haven't had any more sickness. So, you know, you start one of these things and you think that it's just all, you throw some scratch and call it a day, you know, and you collect the eggs and life is a sunny day but we've had some sickness we've had you know like i said the parasite we had the parasite last year uh that's one of the girls that we had trouble with that we had to give vitamin b complex to and um i mean it, it's rough here are the newest juveniles that we're going to be adding well we have added to the bad girls club which is our Big Coop, the girls that produce the eggs. That's some of them over there. 
And that is about all I have to report for today. I wish that I had better news about Amanda. I was so sad about her. I mean, like I said, I tend to get more attached to them. Like these two sapphire gems, I haven't named them yet. They're so beautiful. Um, the big girls that are already established, we have names for all of them, but... It's just, it's been rough. Like I said, when you start a farm like this, and I mean, we have an acre of land. I don't have a huge amount of property. But when you start something like this, you get attached. I mean, it's not like some people have these guys for just livestock. And, you know, they don't really get attached. But I guess I'm that kind of person. So... Anyways, I just thought that I would give you guys a updated report and touch base. And um, I hope that everybody has a wonderful week this week. I'll be doing another video tomorrow. I want to follow this through. Um, they have two more days. Like I said, this is day five. I'm going to do a seven-day treatment. I did not drop the, one, the little um, chicks that are in the dog kennel. I didn't give them drops directly. Um, I did for the last four days and all of them look good. So I'm just going to let them be for now. And, uh, I did put cord in their water. So hopefully everything works out from this, this time on. I mean, what are you going to do? You have to, uh, do the best you can and hope for the best, I guess. Um, I'm going to a workshop this coming weekend on chickens, so hopefully I can learn some more about um, their care and if I'm doing anything wrong. But I do read a lot, and I find a lot on the internet. I have a couple ladies that I consult with that have had um, these fancier chickens, and uh, I respect their opinions, so that helps me a lot, too. But anyways, I'm a little bit long-winded, and... Uh, I'll let you guys go, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and um, I will do another video tomorrow. Goodbye.